Hey, Matt, what's going on weather-wise? Well, the sun's about to set later this time around because we're at the end of June now, so we are enjoying our longest days of the year. Yeah. Most of the country celebrates that. We like them long, but we like them a little shorter because the shorter they are, the less hours we have potentially to heat up. So. Right. Heat it up today pretty substantially, but let's watch that sun as it begins its descent over the western skies. You can see it going down, 525, 530, and we say farewell to it. Uh, still, though, here we have now 615, about halfway down the sky. Should be a nice-looking sunset tonight. Cliff notes for the work weeks, back to the triple digits, plus five or so. Sunny and dry for most of the upcoming week. And this is sort of late news here coming in. Slight storm chances Friday through Sunday. Again, these might be removed from our forecast tomorrow, or we might even increase them. It's still too soon to tell, but some... Preliminary signs indicate that we could see a little bit more moisture feed in here by Friday. So just putting that thought in your head right now. Average high this time of year, a buck oh two. We were 103, so not too far above average. 108 in Lake Havasu City, 107 Yuma, so some pretty hot temperatures across the region. And heads up, Tuesday, Wednesday, if you're at risk to heat, people sensitive to it, we'll put that heat risk into the moderate category for those days as we are seeing some pretty warm temperatures. 101, last check of the airport, and it's dry. 6% that relative humidity. Winds are calm, and we're tracking temperatures anywhere from the upper 90s at Tucson Estates, Sabino Canyon, East Siders to triple digits still uh, about half and half just depending on your location. 92 Sonoida, 94 in Bisbee, 95 Douglas. Looks like we'll get into the low 90s in Tucson. 8, 9 o'clock still at 90 degrees so it's a warm night of weather. Falling through the 80s through about 1 a.m. Upper 70s by 2 a.m. Just a couple of clouds tried to build up. We don't have much moisture to work with, but with some elevation, with some heating, we can sometimes eke out a couple of uh, clouds. Uh, right here is an area of high pressure that's not in a very favorable position. A and B, there's just not a lot of moisture to bring in from the Sierra Madres of Mexico. But let me take you farther to the south. We do have a couple of systems that we're going to be watching over the course of the next several days. Any one of these could potentially give us a surge of moisture and help us out with some storm chances. And that's why I do think by Friday through Sunday of next work week, between that moisture and a little what we call inverted trough. Don't worry about what that is. It just means it's a better chance of showers coming by Friday. False Ecala does know what an inverted trough is, by the way. 70s for lows. Daytime highs tomorrow about 105. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be hot. Uh, 93 Bisbee, 97 in Tombstone, and your seven-day forecast will go hot, hot, hot for the next three days, 105 to 106. And then there you have it, 10% chance of showers Friday through Sunday. Notice I have a 10% chance, but I don't have that thunder and lightning icon on there because that means my confidence is still very low, but it's Monday. That's four days from now. So tomorrow, if you see a little lightning bolt coming out of those little <laughs> icons, we're starting to get a little bit more confident. If I lose that 10, we say farewell to the storm chances this weekend. Either way, in the next couple of weeks, we'll be near the 4th of July, and that's when things start to kick up. And don't forget, about nine days ago, we had that big bonus rain. Right. I know, that was nice. Yeah. All right, Paul C.